myself Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to discuss regarding the a solution of transportation problem by Vogel's approximation method. At the end of the session, the students will be able to determine the schedule of the transportation to minimize the transportation cost by using the Vogel's approximation method taken. Here, in the earlier lecture, we have seen what is a transportation problem. Now, we will see the particular transportation problem which was solved by the least cost method and the northwest corner method. Now, the same problem, we will solve it with, with the Vogel's approximation method. This was the problem for the uh, solving the transportation problem by VS method. Here in this problem, before starting, we have to see the particular given problem is a, a balanced type or unbalanced type. Now, this is a balanced type because here when we make the summation of the 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 14, it is 34 and again the summation of 7 plus 9 plus 18 is 34 which is here yeah, the supply and the demand is equal that's why it is, a trans, it is a balanced transportation problem. Now let's see the steps to be carried for the solution of the uh, to solve the particular problem by the VM method. Here the first step is to select the two smallest unit in cost from the each row and to define the difference between it which will give the penalties. Similarly, we have to carry, carry for the our column also. Okay. After finding the penalties for the each rows and the columns, we have to select the maximum of it. It may be a row or it may be a column. After the selection of the row or the column, in that we have to select the smallest transportation cost and we have to balance the supply and the demand. Let's see the problem and we'll start to solve it. Here in the given problem, here in the first step, the first row there are the sources S1, S2, S3 and the designation D1, D2, D3 and D4. Here we see that in the first row, the first smallest is 10 and the second smallest is 19. The difference between it is a 9. Here I have written that the penalty 1 and the row is 9. And similarly, in the second row, the smallest is first smallest is 30 and the second smallest is 40 and the difference between the 30 minus and 30 and the 40 is 10 which I have written here. Similarly for the source 3 also. Same methodology we have to carry for the designation that is for the columns D1, D2, D3 and D4. Here again the first penalty for the D1 is 21, second is 27, sorry 22 and for the D3 is 10 and the D4 is 10. Now in this the highest penalty we have to see for the in the whole rows and the columns the highest is 22 in the that is which is lying in the d2 column in the to d2 column we have the transportation cost that is 30 30 and 8 out of this 30 30 and 8 the smallest is a 8 we have selected this cell and when we see selected this cell it is lying in the source 3 here the Designation D3 has having the demand of 8 and the source 3 is availability is 18. Means what? It is when we uh, here the particular designation D2 is satisfied by 8. Okay. And as it has been satisfied, there will be a row reduction in the next step. Okay. The transportation cost for this step is 64. Here again, as we see here, there is a column reduction D2 and the D3 here D1, D2, D3, uh, D, D1. And D3 and D4 are the columns. Here again, we have to second find out the second penalties. In the first row, the first penalty is 9. For the second row, is source 3, it is 20. And the for source 3, it is 20. Again, for D1, D3 and D4, it is. Out of this, all second penalties, the highest one is 21. Again, the same. Our, it is lying in the D1 designation and the source S1. Here, in this, why have selected S1 because out of this 40, 70 and 19, the smallest is a 19. That's why I selected this cell. Again, we have to make the uh, demand and supply uh, balancing and we will get that the particular transportation for the step 2 is 95. Yeah, 9 because 19 into 5. 5 is yeah, as it has been. The D1 is satisfied by the source S1. 
similarly for the step 3 we have to see again we have to find out the uh, the penalty is the penalty 3 here there is a column reduction d1 as it has been satisfied again in this the 50 is the highest and it is lying in the source 3 s3 and out of this source s3 70 and 20 the smallest is the 20 which is lying at d4 here again we have to the d4 is having the demand of 14 and the source available with the uh, particular s3 is 10 here the totally s3 has been supplied and the balancing has been done here as 10 has been supplied 20 into 10 we are getting the total transportation cost that is of 200 for the step 3 similarly for the step 4 we have to carry the similar steps again we have to find out the penalty 4 out of this penalty 4 10 50 40 and 20 this 40 20 again so i will repeat 10 20 the 50 is highest we have selected the cell that is having the transportation cost 10 because it is as this is 50 is lying in the designation d4 and in d4 60 and 10 the smallest is 10 again we have to balance the supply and the demand here the transportation cost we are whatever we are getting it is 10 into 20 10, sorry 10 into 2 that is 20 okay <coughs> steps 4 uh, step 5 is similar as here as uh, the particular <coughs> source is been the supply from the source s1 is totally been supplied here there is a row reduction again here in this step we have selected the cell 60 and out of this because uh, we have the chance we are in the these steps we are finding the transportation cost that is a 16 to 2 that is 120 here in the step 6 only the one cell has been left that is 40 where the transportation cost whatever we are getting is particularly <coughs> uh, 280 because only one cell has been left the demand is of 7 and the supply is 7 available it has been satisfied here yeah. and the total transportation cost for the step 6 is 60, uh, 280 for the step 6 when we compare this particular total vm method with the other method we will get we will observe that the vm method is getting least transportation cost but before that this is the total transportation cost for the vm method and the same problem when we solve it by the particular least cost method here we are getting 814 and same problem we, if we solve it by the northwest corner method we are getting 1015 okay yeah <coughs> this is a slide where we see that the particular VA method is having the least transportation cost as compared to the northwest method and the particular least cost method here yeah, this is a VM method which is getting 779 transportation cost and the least by the least cost method it is 840 and by the northwest corner 1015 okay means the VM method is a very effective technique to solve the particular transportation problem which is helpful for the scheduling as well as for the minimum transportation cost now let's select the correct answer for the today's questions These are the references for the today's session.